Good morning and happy, 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 fabulous Friday to you all. It's a TGIF. Thank God we have made it to see another Friday that we have not seen. I pray that you have had an awesome week this week with as little stress as possible. I also pray that you had a super spectacular night's rest on, on last night with no problems or disturbances. And I know that the Lord woke you up this morning to see one more fabulous Friday. And I know that you are going to get it right. Whatever you did wrong yesterday is going to be right today. You have another chance to make it right and make it better. I was reading Psalm, I'm not Psalm, Proverbs 27, 17. And we know it says, as iron sharp, sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. Uh, we know that when you rub two pieces of iron together that the edges they get sharper and sharper so it makes them better equipped to do whatever task it is that they have to do whatever meat or material that they have to cut when they sh when they're sharpened together that makes those edges uh, sharper finer uh, easier to cut between uh, into whatever it has to cut into so the word of god is a double-edged sword as well and it's with this that we are to sharpen each other in times of fellowship, in times of hard, uh, hard times, in times of struggle, in times of uh, any time that we're interacting with each other as children of God. We are to sharpen each other with the word of God, to lift each other up with encouragement uh, from that word of God. We are iron and we should sharpen each other and make, when we sharpen each other with the word of God, we're going to get sharper and sharper and be able to fight any battle that comes our way without any problem. We're not going to have a problem fighting it. We're not going to have a problem um, going into it, facing it, whatever it may be, because we're going to be sharp on the edge with that word of God. And we're going to do that because when we fellowship with each other, whatever interaction we have with each other, we need to come together and lift each other up with the word of God and sharpen each other with that two-edged two -edged sword, which is the Word of God. So remember that today. Everyone you come into contact with, encourage them, lift them up, uh, love on them, uh, share that beautiful smile, like I always say. Whether the other person deserves it or not, you still share that love of God with them. You be the upstanding person, and you killing them with that kindness and that Word of God is going to change them. And like I said the other day, you may not see the change, but it's going to happen. Uh, because only God can change a person on the inside. And that's a lot of the problem we have a lot of times. We think we can change the next person, but we can't. Uh, if they're constantly doing wrong and doing things that's not of God, you can't change them. You can't fix them. Only Jesus can fix it. So remember that. I love you guys. I hope your Friday is super, 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 super fabulous, just like you are. As always, share that beautiful smile with everyone you come into contact with. Don't you skip not one person today. Share that smile with everyone you walk past today. No matter if they deserve it or not, you still share that love of Christ with them. Have a super fabulous Friday and a super terrific weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.